For 21st century travelers, it is challenging to envision that modern overhead baggage compartments are a comparatively recent addition to aircraft interiors. In early passenger aircraft, personal possessions were stored in basic netted compartments similar to those used on buses. On the TU-104, these nets were installed above passengers' heads and provided only limited organization for carry-on items. Later aircraft, such as the L-18-2134 and Yak-40, introduced rigid open racks, but their capacity remained very limited and was primarily intended for outerwear. During turbulence, the contents of these racks could easily fall into the aisle or directly onto passengers' heads. Fully enclosed overhead containers appeared only in later versions of the 2154 and on more modern aircraft, and even then their capacity remained relatively small. A similar evolution occurred in Western aviation. As early as the 1920s, passengers on the first commercial flights stored their belongings in open netted racks above the seats, which served more as a convenience than a true storage system. With the introduction of the Boeing 747 in 1969, enclosed overhead compartments became a standard feature of commercial aviation. Since then, their importance and capacity have continued to grow steadily. By the early 21st century, airlines had established clear standards for carry-on luggage dimensions, largely based on recommendations issued by the International Air Transport Association. Under these guidelines, carry-on baggage must not exceed 56 by 45 by 25 centimeters. Aeroflot applies slightly stricter limits of 55 by 40 by 25 centimeters. These requirements directly influence the size and structural strength of overhead bins, as aircraft manufacturers must ensure that such luggage can be safely accommodated without compromising operational performance. Western aircraft manufacturers face the same constraints. Companies such as Boeing and Airbus have spent many years refining solutions like Boeing space bins and Airbus extra-large overhead compartments. These designs allow suitcases to be stored either flat or vertically. This increases overall capacity and reduces the need to gate-check carry-on baggage when cabins are fully booked. From the very beginning, the designers of the new generation SJ-100 and MC-21 aircraft set an ambitious target. Their goal was to exceed the overhead bin capacity of competing aircraft by roughly 20 to 25%. Achieving this required larger containers and therefore higher load-bearing capability. As a result, overhead bins evolved from simple interior furnishings into complex engineering structures. Where early Soviet aircraft relied on simple shelf-like solutions, modern storage compartments are fully integrated elements of the aircraft interior. Their design is based on precise calculations that balance strength, weight, and ergonomics. A similar trend is evident in Western aviation, where overhead bins have steadily increased in size while maintaining passenger comfort and safety. An overhead stowage compartment is not merely a piece of cabin furniture, but a critical safety component. Each bin must undergo an extensive series of tests on specialized rigs that simulate extreme turbulence and emergency landing conditions. In Russia, the required load factors for these tests are defined by Aviation Regulations AP25. The structure must withstand these loads without cracking, deformation, or structural failure. Western certification standards follow similar principles. Regulations from authorities, such as the United States Federal Aviation Administration, require overhead bins to withstand longitudinal loads of up to 9G or more. These forces far exceed normal operational loads and are comparable to the deceleration experienced by a passenger car in a severe collision. Dynamic testing has shown that bins must retain their integrity under such conditions, as failed latches or hinges could pose serious risks to passengers. Testing also evaluates the long-term reliability of latches, hinges, handles, and locking mechanisms. All of these components must operate reliably throughout the aircraft's service life.
In Russia, the process of replacing imported hardware with domestic alternatives is nearing completion. Russian-made handles, hinges, and locks have successfully passed design and qualification testing. Starting with the fifth serial SJ-100 aircraft, these components will be produced entirely within Russia. Safety considerations extend beyond structural strength. Cabin design rules require that no hidden space above the overhead bins can conceal an object with a volume of 0.33 cubic decimeters or larger. Although this requirement may appear minor, it significantly reduces the risk of prohibited items escaping inspection and forms part of modern aviation security standards. In addition, the materials used for overhead bins must meet strict airworthiness requirements for flammability, heat release, and smoke emission. These standards are equally strict in Western aviation, where FAA and European Aviation Safety Agency rules mandate materials that do not propagate fire and do not emit toxic smoke that could hinder passenger evacuation. One of the most challenging aspects of developing overhead bins for the MC-21 and SJ-100 has been weight reduction. The MC-21 cabin contains 20 overhead bins, most of which include two compartments capable of holding up to 12 suitcases stored on their edges. Increasing the weight of each bin by only 10 kilograms would reduce the aircraft's payload by about 1%. Over the aircraft's service life, this would translate into millions of dollars in lost airline revenue. According to Philip Skripalshikov, head of interior research and development at the regional aircraft division of Yakovlev, the SJ-100 overhead bins already meet strict weight targets. At the same time, engineers continue to closely monitor weight compliance during the early stages of serial production. Teams working on the MC-21 interior are also exploring further weight reduction options. Vadim Shramov, chief designer at Aviation Interiors, notes that structural optimization can yield additional weight savings without sacrificing strength. As part of these efforts, an alternative overhead bin design is being developed for the MC-21. Depending on airline preference, the existing bucket-type bins may be replaced with so-called breadbox-style containers. These maintain the same storage volume while reducing structural weight. This approach mirrors trends in Western aircraft interiors, where manufacturers continuously refine bin geometry to increase capacity while minimizing weight. For example, Airbus airspace large and extra-large bins can increase available storage capacity by as much as 60% by allowing bags to be stowed vertically. Not every aspect of import substitution has been fully resolved. For example, the range of available colors and decorative finishes is still limited by the capabilities of domestic suppliers of decorative films. However, in functional terms, Russian-made overhead bins match their foreign counterparts. Passengers experience no loss of comfort, while airlines benefit from a fully certified, domestically produced interior solution that can be tailored to specific operational requirements. Overhead stowage compartments have undergone a remarkable transformation, evolving from simple netted shelves into complex, safety-critical aircraft systems. They are no longer merely a passenger convenience, but a key element of the aircraft's safety and structural design. Modern overhead bins must combine high load-bearing capacity, minimal weight, strict fire safety compliance, and ergonomic usability. Both Russian and Western manufacturers pursue similar goals, seeking to increase capacity, reduce weight, and enhance passenger convenience while fully meeting demanding aviation safety standards. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.